Hello guys, this is Divij and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are well. So today in this video, I will be telling you about some features of the new iPad OS. Apple showcased the new iPad OS 14 in its worldwide developer conference 2020 that is the WWDC along with the Mac OS Big Sur, iOS 14 and Watch OS 7. So guys, as you can see, this is the interface of the new iPad OS 14. The beta versions are available on the internet and this is the beta version only as you can see. So guys firstly talking about the WWDC 2020 conference for the first time it was held virtually due to the coronavirus pandemic. So guys before starting the video I would like to remind you to please subscribe to my channel like the video and comment your thoughts below. So guys starting with the first feature we get the widgets. You may have heard widgets in Android but now we get them in iOS 2. We get various options for the widgets as you can see and we can add a particular widget. We can choose how the widget can look and then we can click on add widget. As you can see this widget is added. We can also combine two widgets in one. Secondly we get this new search bar. The new search bar is minimalistic and clean as you can see. As you can see if I search Apple then it shows the Apple store. It shows the results of the web as well as in files. So guys the third feature is this all new sidebar. This sidebar is supported in apps such as movies, files, photos etc. The sidebar makes it easy to navigate through the files. So now guys talking about the fourth feature and one of the best features is the new Siri interface. Earlier when we used to activate Siri it would cover the whole screen but now it's not like that. But now when we activate it it is just a small Siri logo. I'll show you. Hey Siri. What's the time? It's 12.26 pm. As you can see the interface is really minimalistic and it does not cover up the whole screen. We also get a new call UI. Earlier when we used to receive a call the whole screen would get covered by the call interface but now it's not like that. So guys now I will show you whenever we receive a FaceTime call or a normal call now we get a pop-up banner like Android. As you can see we get this pop-up banner. It is a really good feature. We also get some new features with the notes but I need an Apple Pencil to demonstrate them. We also get a new feature called a Scribble feature which is also supported with the Apple Pencil only. Now guys lastly we get these three new wallpapers and they also support the dark and light mode. This is the light mode and now this is the dark mode. You can see how the wallpaper changes according to the mode. So guys that was it for the overview of the new iPad OS 14. Let's expect the new update that is the iOS 14 update from Apple in the next month. I have been using this beta version for around 3 to 4 days and I find it really smooth and as such there are no bugs and glitches. I will give you the link of the site from where you can download the beta version in the description box below. Do check it. So guys thank you for watching please like the video subscribe to the channel and if you have any thoughts or doubts then do comment. Thank you and I'll meet you in the next video. Bye bye.